Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to share a very easy technique to get a professional looking gold shine on your portrait photos. Let's start by duplicating our photo. Next, we add the black and white adjustment layer. We can keep it at default settings for the time being. We will need to change it later on. Let's group the image and the adjustment. Now we duplicate it and in the duplicated group we add an invert adjustment layer. What we want to achieve right now is to get a basis for a gold effect by combining the two groups. So let's set the blend mode of the inverted group to difference. This creates an interesting base layer which we can manipulate by adjusting the two black and white adjustments. We want to adjust it in a way that there is a good contrast between the shadows and the highlights. Don't worry about it too much. As nothing is destructive, we can adjust any time later. Now, let's group the two groups. Ok, here comes the cool part. We will set its blend mode to subtract. It looks bad for the time being. But as you notice, we do have a chrome feeling. Before I continue, let's have a look at what subtract means, so you will understand the choices for colors later on. Let me create a new document and add two rectangles with 50% grey and set the blend mode of the top rectangle to subtract. Now, if we change the color of the top rectangle, we can see what subtract does. As the name suggests, it subtracts the value of the top layer from the bottom layer. So, in our grey rectangles, any grey value on the subtract layer, larger than on the layer below, will make it black, and any value less will make it gradually darker. Let's now have a look what happens with colors. When we apply a color, it will go to the opposite of that color. So let's apply this information to our group. Before we continue, let's have a look at our group first. It's a grayscale image and we can apply a gradient adjustment to change the blacks and the whites. In the gradient adjustment, we need to choose the opposite colors of what we want to achieve. In this case, gold is yellowish, so we have to go with blue. Adjust it so we can have a chromatic look. Doesn't look good at all. But here comes the second trick. My favorite tool, blend ranges. Wow, that's much better. We can even control the effect more by adjusting the black and white adjustments in the groups below. Actually, we now already have this gold shine in her face. But if you want to adjust the color, for example make it more look golden, we need to apply another step. We can duplicate the layer, set its blend mode to soft light, reset the blend ranges and adjust the gradient map to get a more golden look. We're almost there. To make it amazing, let's add an invert adjustment. There we have it, the golden shine we were looking for. You can now customize the group and the layers as you see fit, for example, changing the opacity to make the effect stronger or weaker. Or just use a different blend mode, like the linear light. You can even try to change the blend ranges, and so on, until you have a look that you like. Finally, if needed, you can apply a mask, so the effect will be applied only to the areas you want. I hope you liked this technique and thanks again for watching this video, until next time.